This is the Quizlet website. It's a great place to practice vocabulary and learn some new words. For this course, there are 10 sets of words. You don't need to join Quizlet. You don't need to sign in. All you need to do is click on the link and you can study the vocabulary anytime. If you are not working in Moodle, you can go to Quizlet.com and search for Preparation for Online Learning and you will find these sets. You will see the Norquest College name and logo. On Quizlet, you will see a list of words and their definition first. You can scroll down the page and listen to these words and their definitions by clicking on the audio icon. You can hear that this is a computer-generated voice. It is not a real person. The pronunciation is not the best, but you still may find this helpful. Quizlet suggests that you start by looking at the flashcards. Flashcards look like this. If you study this set in Moodle, you will start with the flashcards. The flashcards have the word on one side and the definition on the other side. You can flip the flashcards anytime you like. So, there's the definition and then you can go back to the word. On the right side, you'll see some controls. You can have the flashcards flip or flow. You can turn the audio on or off and you can choose to start with either the term, the word or phrase, or the definition. Or see both sides at once. You can also shuffle or change the order of the cards. You can keep flipping back and forth to see the term and then the definition and listen and keep going like that. You can change this any time. You can play around with this and see what works best for you and your language learning. So that's the flashcards. Next, you can see there's a learn button at the top of the page. Here, you can see the definition and you must type the word. You must try to type the word first, but if you can't remember the word, or if you make a mistake, you can ask Quizlet for help. On the Learn page, you have to spell the words 100% correctly. If you make a mistake, Quizlet will not accept it. This will help you learn the correct spelling for these words. If you need to work more on spelling, you could try Speller in the Quizlet. You will see the definition and hear the word. You must type the word correctly in the box. You can listen to the terms as many times as you need to. You can see that you can practice just seven words at a time, so you could try some flashcards, then try Speller, then try something else in Quizlet. Here again, you have many choices. You can hear the term spoken slowly, quickly, or not at all. You can also hear the definition spoken quickly or a little more slowly. We're going to skip past test for now and look at the other two games in Quizlet. The first one here is Scatter. In the Scatter game, you have to make everything disappear. So here, you drag items that match together to make them disappear. There is a clock 
that keeps track of how long you spend completing the task. You are only playing against yourself here. Nobody is keeping track of the score. The final game here is called Gravity. If you like playing video games, you might enjoy playing Gravity. Start with the definition. You must type very quickly in the Gravity game. The definitions go by and you must read them very quickly and type the answer very quickly. If you make a mistake, then Quizlet will show you the answer and ask you to copy it. Some people like this approach to learning and some don't. If you enjoy this game and are learning from it, then that's great. But if you don't like it, then Quizlet does offer you other ways to learn. Now that we've looked at the flashcards, learn, speller, scatter, and gravity, let's go back and look at the test. No one is keeping track of your score. Here, you can choose the kinds of questions you want. Written, matching, multiple choice, or true and false. You can choose to start with the term, the definition, or both, and you can set how many questions you want to answer. Then, after you finish the test, you can click up at the top and regenerate to make a new test. So that's a really quick introduction to Quizlet. Quizlet also has a mobile app both for Android and for Apple phones. Using the mobile app means that you can learn anywhere, anytime, if you have a smartphone. I hope that you really enjoy using Quizlet to learn vocabulary.